Now I can talk about it because he ain't been biting me. That is Apollo. We went up to Indianapolis to get him. And of course that's Shelby. To pick him up. Because he needed a new home because his current home had some personal issues that was going on and he couldn't be trusted around the kid. So, it's okay, I mean, what they were dealing with, I'd have done the same thing, I mean, it was a hard decision for him to make, so it is what it is. <clears throat> anyway, so went up there and got him, a little motherfucker, bit me all the way back. Every time I get out of the fucking car, try to get back in, a little motherfucker bite shit out of me. And I'd had to go around and around with him for a fucking hour before I to get back in the car. <laughs> and we get down here, and as long as I kept the leash on him, he was fine. I took the leash off of him one day, and this hallway, he sat there right at the end of the fucking hallway, and I couldn't get down the hallway. So, it's all right, motherfucker. I had one of his beds out there. See if it's in here. Nope, it's not in there. It's floating around somewhere. And I just bulldogged his ass and pinned him up and got the fucking leech back on him and left it at that for a while. Now, uh, oh, I had to give him, uh, he was on Prozac. Uh, 20 milligrams for one thing and 40 for something else. I don't know why, but it's just, I guess, he was having issues because he went from a single-person family or single-owner to a family with a child. So I guess it's, you know how toddlers are. They get jealous over shit. So he was living with the guy's parents. And sometimes he had to have it. I guess he got stressed out or anxiety because he did have some serious ass anxiety for a little bit. So I gave him one. And it's been almost two weeks and he's not had another one. I just gave him that one and that was it. And as you can see, it's taken a while to get to this point because this wasn't right away. He took to my wife pretty well, but he didn't take to much else. Him and Shelby, it took almost a week for me to let them introduce each other because I didn't want to take a chance of either one of them getting hurt because she's eight and he's two. And he's got hip displays and there's something else wrong with him, so I didn't want no more problems. And, I mean, now we can leave, leave the door open. I'll leave the door open at night. He shares his food with her. I mean, well, fuck, we walk through the house. There was a whole bunch more toys there. She's drugged him to the house. And he takes him to her sometimes. So, I mean, that's been pretty good. Hey, he is the chewingest, eatingest motherfucker I know, too. Goddamn. Where do you find this shit? This little motherfucker will chew all kinds of shit. Hey. You just haven't got up on her couch yet. But he'll eat out her bowl. Yeah. Well, come on, get out of my fucking way, Tart. She drug that toy in here, and that toy in here, and he drugged that one. He'll eat his food and her food. So I gotta put hers up there. He won't get up there yet. But she'll go in there and eat his when he's not looking, so. <laughs> yeah, it's comical as shit. They drink pretty much out of the same water bowl. It's a bitch to keep it clean. Especially that one over there. Because when I got the food bowl over there, they both get fucking food in the water. It's a never ending story. If you got one of these dogs, oh, yeah, by the way, Apollo, come here. <clears throat> yeah. His name is Apollo. And a week ago, I couldn't do this shit. He would chew me alive. I mean, literally. 
he would bite the dog shit out of me. And now he won't leave me the fuck alone. He's a big asshole fucking baby. When we go to bed, because he, I got a cat, and him and the cat ain't been, ain't too much seeing eye to eye to shit. And if you've seen some of my videos, she's me a little bitch. See, look at this shit. That right there, he did have fuck my hands up. Go on, go over there. Hey, hey. He's doing really well, I mean. I'll post different videos. Now nobody knows where I live, so I can post videos of my dogs. Because nobody knows where the fuck I live. And the videos you've seen of Lady and Abby and Goliath. I couldn't post them except till right after they were dead. Because where I live, people would fucking steal them. And use them for fighting dogs. And Lady was a bred fighting dog. I got her from somebody that rescued her from the fucking Floyd Butro kennel over in Louisiana. So she was one of the few that didn't die. And Abby, she just was a trip. And Goliath was just a spoiled ass little brat. But somebody get a hold of them and either use them for fighting dogs or bait dogs. That's the bitch of the South down here, these punk ass motherfuckers. Always fighting dogs and other animals too much of a pussy to fight themselves. Little punk asses. But anyway, oh shit. Ah, damn, her plant's dying. <laughs> Oops. I have to go water if I Oh. Now that you've seen him, goddamn slobber box, he's doing really well. And we will continue on and see how he does.